Hello, I'm Tom Wade, and this is The Rundown. A new zero bail order takes effect tonight in L.A. County, meaning people suspected of low-level felonies and misdemeanors won't have to stay in county jails. It's an effort to fight the spread of coronavirus. A similar order by the state expires today. The family of an 18-year-old who was killed by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies is demanding answers. The sister of Andres Guardado, along with other friends and family, held a protest Friday in Gardena. Family members say Guardado was working as a security guard, but sheriff's, sheriff's officials say Guardado was armed and did not have a security guard license. L.A. County will use new technology to track wait times at polling places this November after an independent review found huge problems with the March primary. A consulting firm says software breakdowns, lack of trained staff and poor oversight contributed to long wait times. The county is also sending vote by mail ballots to every registered voter. AMC, the nation's largest movie chain, has reversed course and now says masks will be mandatory at its theaters when they reopen next month. Regal Cinemas followed suit and says all employees and guests will be required to wear masks when its cinemas open July 10th. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a look at your forecast. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is the first day of summer and it's going to feel a little bit more like yesterday, meaning temperatures are staying slightly below average. We do have a high pressure system moving in, so that's going to really allow the warm up to begin as we head into the next couple of days. Temperatures along the coast will remain in the 60s. We have 70s for LA and Orange County Metro, and then we also have 80s and 90s inland for the valleys and also for our high desert communities, and then also for the Inland Empire. Temperatures up in the mountains will also stay in the 70s. But Get ready. Temperatures begin to warm up to above average by the time we head into Monday. And remember, we're always streaming 24-7. You can find CBSN Los Angeles on CBSLA.com and the free CBS News app. I'm Tom Wade.